Arusha is a Tanzanian city in East Africa, mainly known as a major tourist destination in Africa. It's a major focus for both tourists and locals, as it boasts world-class fascinating tourist attractions, including Africa's award-winning Serengeti National Park, the world's largest caldera, the Ngorongoro Crater, Tanzania's very own gemstone, Tanzanite, and Africa's fifth highest mountain, Mount Meru. The region receives 80% of all tourists visiting Tanzania to experience national parks, game reserves, lakes, art, cultures, history, and gemstones. Planning a trip to Arusha? Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Number 10. The Arusha National Park The Arusha National Park is one of Tanzania's most accessible national parks. And it is a perfect getaway for a day trip at the end or beginning of a big and long safari itinerary. Nested on the foothills of Mount Meru, discover and explore this beautiful park with a perfect mix of flora and fauna and diversified landscapes which only takes a 45 minute ride from Arusha city center. The park offers a variety of tourist attraction features where visitors usually enjoy game viewing, horse riding and walking in the safari. You won't be able to see all the big five-fold animals, but you'll have the opportunity to see giraffes, cape buffaloes, zebras, warthogs, flamingos, black and white colobus monkeys, elephants, and leopards. Since there's a very low number of predators in the park, walking safaris are permitted with the guidance of an armed ranger. Number 9. The National Natural History Museum The National Natural History Museum in Arusha was established in 1987 mainly to research the components of paleontological and paleoanthropological and archaeological collections from different parts of Tanzania. The museum exhibits and showcases the human evolution history with evidence from different parts of Tanzania and other parts of the world. Insects of economic importance, ecology of large mammals, taxidermist units, live rescued animals, a mini botanical garden with life endemic, threatened and useful indigenous plant species, birds, fish pond, and history of the German colonial administration in northern Tanzania. The museum also offers a variety of services including lessons on human evolution, living organisms, workshops, and seminars to education and tourism stakeholders. Local art training, museum garden, guidance to secondary school projects and research, as well as cultural tourism programs. The museum receives and accepts visits from students, tourists, families, and corporates. Number 8. Manyara National Park The Lake Manyara National Park is well known for its tree climbing lions, the Soda Ash Lake that attracts thousands of pink flamingos, and one of Tanzania's biggest elephant populations. Located 126 kilometers west of Arusha town, the park is sized 330 square kilometers of which 220 square kilometers form the lake. The park has fascinating tourist attractions, including Lake Manyara, which hosts a number of pink flamingos and hippos that dwell in the shallow part of the river. There is a plenty number of elephants, wildebeest, giraffes, buffaloes, zebras, warthogs, and tree climbing lions whose unique tree climbing character can only be found in just two populations across the world. Wide grassy flat plains, a band of mixed acacia woodlands, and captivating evergreen forests can also be seen at the park. Also, be ready to lose yourself among the treetops of Lake Manyara by taking a treetop canopy walk. Number 7. Tarangire National Park Being ranked as the number 6 national park in Tanzania, the park boasts fascinating tourist attraction features and is most popular for its large elephant heads and mini wildlife migration of about 250,000 animals that usually take place during the dry season. It is the park with the highest population density of elephants and baobab trees as compared to anywhere in Tanzania. After a few drives from the Arusha town, which usually takes not more than two hours, you find yourself in this beautiful national park. It is also packed with the wonderful birding destinations of over 500 species of birds. During the peak season, visitors can expect to see large heads of thousands of zebras, wildebeest, cape buffalo, giraffe, olive baboon, and predators like lion, cheetah, leopard, caracal, and honey badger. A bucket list to many tourists who like mid-range safaris and with all these unimaginable attractions, Tarangire is well worth a visit. Number 6. The Cultural Heritage Found on the outskirts of Arusha, the cultural heritage established in the year 1994 is a family-owned collection of carvings, gemstones, artifacts, clothing, 
and books. The cultural heritage is one of the most amazing architectural buildings in Africa, displaying the largest variety of African art. It was founded by a fourth generation of Tanzanian Saifuddin and Zara Kanbai. As they had a strong passion and love for the country's extensive history, long-standing traditions, and rich culture. You will find all kinds of Tanzanite stones, jewelry, clothing, books and spices, art gallery, bags and shoes, paintings and artwork, and home decor. It has hosted many famous people in the world, like United States Presidents Bill Clinton and George Bush, Norway's King Harold, Queen Sonja and Princess Martha Louise, South Africa's former President Thabo Mbeki and Zanel Mbeki, Canadian actor Keanu Reeves, and Netherlands Queen Maxima and King William Alexander. Number 5. It's the heart of the Tanzanite gemstone. The Tanzanite gemstone that is only found in Tanzania is far rarer than gold. Formed around 585 million years ago, during the mid Ediacaran period, it is a blue and violet variety of the mineral zoisite mined in only one area in Tanzania, the foothills of Mount Kilimanjaro called Mererani. It was discovered in 1967 by a man called Manuel de Souza, an Indian sailor who traveled to Tanzania to search for gemstones. What makes it appealing is the striking blue color. Over the years, it has been worn on various occasions by world celebrities and famous people like Beyonce, Kate Middleton, Kate Blanchett, Sarah Jessica Parker, which have caught public interest. Both the mining and selling is regulated by the Tanzanian government. And in June 2020, a man named Saninu Leza found two of the largest rough tanzanite ever mined in Tanzania. The tanzanite stones, one weighing 9.2 kilograms and the other weighing 5.8 kilograms, which earned him 2.4 million euros. Number 4. The Ngorongoro Conservation Area The Ngorongoro Conservation Area is home to the vast volcanic Ngorongoro crater, Big Five Animals, Maasai Tribe, Old Dubai Gorge, Old Donyo Lengai, the shifting sand, and many more adventures which have made it to sometimes being described as an eighth wonder of the world. Starting with the world's largest caldera, the Ngorongoro Crater, which is well known for its high concentration of wildlife worldwide, including the Big Five, Elephant, Lion, Buffalo, Rhino, it attracts an ever-increasing number of visitors each year. Visitors usually see the Great Migration of Wildebeest and Zebras as they traverse the plains during the Great Migration. The Old Dubai Gorge is an important archaeological site on Earth where early human evolution can be traced. The Old Donyo Lengai, which translates to Mountain of God in the Maasai language, is an active volcano found within the conservation area where also the shifting sands can be found shifting at a rate of 13 meters per year westwards across the plains. Number 3. Mount Meru The second highest mountain in Tanzania and the fifth highest mountain in Africa is a dormant settled volcano located 70 kilometers west of Mount Kilimanjaro in the southeast Arusha region and can even be seen from Arusha town. Climbing Mount Meru offers a great experience especially for travelers as they use it as a warm-up for scaling the mighty Kilimanjaro. The mountain has no traffic also and it offers an amazing wildlife experience as hikers hike past wild animals. This 4,566 meter height mountain is available in Arusha National Park and it takes three to four days to make it to the summit and back. Hikers usually are guided by an armed ranger, a professional mountain guide, and porters which make the climb easy and enjoyable. Mount Meru can be climbed all year round as the huts are very comfortable, but the best season is between June and February, but December to February offers the best views of the bigger Mount Kilimanjaro. Number 2. The Geneva of Africa The city named the Geneva of Africa by the former American President Bill Clinton given the numerous international conferences taking place in the city. It is the headquarters of East African community hosting the International Residual Mechanism for Criminal Tribunals and the African Court on Human and People's Rights. It is also considered the de facto capital of East Africa and the international diplomatic center of the country. It is East Africa's leading tourist city, which is located just at the center of Africa, having mainly tourism and mining activities, employing most of the northern city's youths. It is the region with the most diverse culture than any other region in Tanzania, with over 100 nationalities in the city. Of all the tourists that visit Tanzania, almost 80% visit Arusha to explore the world-class tourist attractions that are praised over the world. Number 1. Serengeti National Park Awarded as the world's best national park in Africa for the third time in a row since 2019 by World Travel Awards, 
The Serengeti National Park is famed for the Great Migration, which involves 2 million wildebeest accompanied by zebras and gazelles moving to the north seeking fresh grazing and quality water. Being home to big five wild animals, it is a world heritage site teeming with over 2 million angelates, 4,000 lions, 1,000 leopards, 550 cheetahs, and some 500 bird species. It hosts around 150,000 to 200,000 visitors each year from around the world who come to explore the endless Serengeti plains and make lifetime memories. Beyond the Great Migration, which occurs between July and early October, visitors can see wildlife animals in Serengeti year-round. The Serengeti National Park is said to host the world's largest terrestrial mammal migration in the world, which helps secure it as one of the several natural wonders of Africa and as one of the 10 natural travel wonders of the world. Wrapping up, Arusha is a city with a rich history and wide range of activities to offer. To anyone who enjoys adventures, culture and art, Arusha is a one-stop center that offers all these. With the above mentioned attractions and destinations, Arusha is the perfect starting point for your Tanzanian trip. Thanks for watching the video from the beginning to the end. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to continue getting more videos like these on this YouTube channel. Until next time, take care, goodbye.